10 poorest countries in Africa. Over half of the nations in Africa are considered the poorest in the world. This is because the continent has a lower level when it comes to economic success when compared to the other six continents in the world. This is because of decades of bad leadership and political instability. Despite the fact that the continent is endowed with natural resources, many countries still continue to live in absolute poverty. One of the factors which determine the world of nations worldwide is the gross domestic product per capita. This GDP per capita measures the purchasing power of each nation in the international market. GDP is an excellent indicator of affluence. It is commonly used to determine how rich or poor a country is. Today, African Reloaded brings you information about the 10 poorest countries in Africa. 10. Ethiopia This country has a population of about 105 million people, making it one of the most populated countries in Africa. The per capita income of this country is around $783, regardless of the economic activities that take place in the country. Activities like agriculture, construction, and manufacturing take place in this country, but its GDP growth still experiences a downward trend. Nevertheless, the country is still doing its best to see that they get a rise in GDP per capita, as they expect the economy to grow before this 2021 year ends. The Finance Minister, Monster Ahmed Shilda allocated $13.48 billion towards government spending early last year, and by so doing, Ethiopia hopes to see a growth boost in the economy in the future. 9. Mozambique This country's economy used to be booming and was not on the list of the poorest countries. But after the civil wars which broke out, this country has been going down and down, her highest GDP per capita to date is $519, over a population of 31.4 million people. Economic freedom is high at over 48, making it among the freest economies in the 2020 World Index. Conditions like increased government spending, fair trade regulations, and a declining tax burden have been some factors leading to economic growth. Another factor which was helping the economy was the French company Total SA. This company secured $15.8 billion in funding for a liquefied natural gas facility in the region. These investors have so many projects which will give this country the opportunity to start all over. But as life will have it in early April this year, after a series of setbacks due to the escalation of violent attacks in the area, the company announced it would suspend its operations indefinitely. 8. Somalia The World Bank estimated the population of this country to be 16.62 million in early 2020, and the GDP per capita is $478. The poverty rate of this country stands at 73%. This country is going through a period of political instability and terror attacks. Speaking of political instability, this year, in April, Somalia's parliament voted to extend the president's term to a four-year term, which only two years had expired of the four-year term. The power grab triggered a political crisis and rival factions clashed in the capital Mogadishu. The president immediately bowed to the opposition and called for a new presidential election, but they are still positive about the growth of their economy, as a tenuous recovery is already on the way and the government has pledged its commitment to chatting a course toward better resilience and growth. 7. Democratic Republic of Congo. This is a country in Central Africa. It is, by area, the largest country in Sub-Saharan Africa, the second largest in all of Africa, and the 11th largest in the world and has a large population living below the poverty line. The GDP per capita is $448.7, which is based on the World Economic Outlook. The World Bank estimated its poverty rate to be 64% in 2012. The country has taken considerable steps to get out of poverty, but the COVID pandemic has caused a contraction since it started. The mining sector is forecast to stage a modest recovery in 2021. 6. Madagascar According to the World Bank, Madagascar's GDP per capita is about $415. The trade sector has been the most significant sector which has been sustaining the economy, although a large percentage of the country's population, including children, suffer from malnutrition. 
The country's poorest individuals have limited access to their basic needs. This country has experienced political stability. Violent coups and disputed elections have contributed to making this country poor. The worst of them all is the COVID that broke out. This crisis has precipitated a severe recession, which has disproportionately impacted the population employed in the tourism and manufacturing sectors. The crisis also depleted the availability of fiscal resources for priority investment and social programs, thereby putting a hold on the goal of archiving more inclusive growth. 5. Malawi this nation is among the most impoverished countries, with millions of people living in abject poverty. Its GDP was $402. The activities which support the economy are mainly agricultural and also include the sales of tobacco. The funny thing about this country is the fact that it is a peaceful country, but it's still poor. In 2020, the country's constitutional court annulled former President Peter Mutharika's poll wins in the previous year's general elections. The president after him declared that he wanted to provide the kind of leadership that makes everyone proper, but sadly for him and his dreams, as it had to be put on hold as the pandemic crisis broke out. Last year, the GDP of the country dropped to 0.6% from 4.5% a year earlier. 4. Niger The World Bank did their statistics in 2020, and discovered that the poverty rate is 44.1%. About the economy, it depends solely on agriculture, as 80% of the citizens depend on it. The country has been increasing its public debt since 2011 to expand investment. Unfortunately, the nation is heavily reliant on foreign debts, which puts it at risk of further financial distress. On top of the debts they have, they have over 300,000 refugees to deal with, and the country has high population growth, food insecurity, political instability, and natural crises. When Isufu stepped down this year after a two-year term in office, a new president took over and became the first democratic power transfer. And while the country reported a relatively low number of cases, last year, its economy grew by just 1.2%. Hopes for 2021 are expected to grow by 7%. 3. Liberia The GDP of this country, according to the trading economy, is $360, and the poverty rate is based on the World Bank. This country is one of the countries that has been ranked several times as the poorest countries. The nation has enjoyed political stability since 2003, but the leaders have failed to grant them uplift from poverty. Star player George Weah, who was a former footballer, became president in 2018. His term was filled with high inflation, unemployment, and negative economic growth. High external borrowing has put the nation at the risk of over-reliance on foreign funding. From 2014 to 2016, the Ebola crisis hit the nation, affecting the aid inflows. Poor, slow infrastructure development continues to impact negatively on potential foreign investors. And now there's the COVID crisis, which is claiming lives, Two, the Central African Republic. In December 2018, the GDP was $333.03, which means over three quarter of $1.90 per day. The economy has suffered a sociopolitical crisis, affecting its growth. The main sector that contributes to the growth of the economy is agriculture and mining. The inflation rate in 2018 was 3.9%. This country has mineral resources, but the only problem is that it is inhabited by poor people who cannot make the most of what they have. Despite these problems, growth has somewhat picked up in recent years thanks to the timber industry. The economy is also benefiting from the partially resumed sale of diamonds, which were discovered to be the source of funding for inter-religious armed groups and placed under international embargo in 2013. 1. Burundi This fine country is among the poorest countries in Africa. All of Burundi is in need of urgent humanitarian assistance as the country is largely affected by AIDS and now COVID-19 has added. The civil war which ended years ago brought some features which have had effects till date, 
lack of infrastructure, endemic, corruption, security concerns, which are the leading factors leading to extreme poverty. Speaking of instability, Pierre Encuruz is a charismatic former Hoodoo rebel turned president in 2005. He managed to unite the country and start rebuilding the economy. He had been riled for so long and in 1015, he wanted to win the office again, which later on resulted in the oppression. Poverty is on a rise globally and the continent of Africa is not left out. This list includes the 10 African nations that are living in absolute poverty. And all this is not because they don't have good resources to sustain them, but because of bad leadership, corruption, debts, among others. However, Africa is blessed with plenty of natural resources and they will soon come out of their poverty trap. Thanks for watching this video and please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification for more amazing videos.